will do, Katie. Well, time is now 816 and runners listen up with running season just around the corner. We've got a couple of tips to help you out with training. What you need to know to keep your joints from wear and tear. That's all coming up right after this break. Now, live, this is 8 News Now Weekend Edition. Marathon season is a few months away, but before you lace up your running shoes, you might want to pay attention to some of these tips we've got for you. Joining us is Dr. Parminder King of King Hip and Knee. Thank you for joining us. Nia, thanks for having me. And from what I understand, you're a runner yourself, right? Yes, uh, I've ran the half marathon here in Vegas twice. Uh, just a wonderful experience. They, they block off the strip. You're running, you run past the fountains at the Bellagio, you go downtown, run past the praying mantis with, that's breathing fire. And to me, it means a lot. I grew up in Las Vegas. I went to Clark High School. I'm practicing uh, here at Desert Earth Peak Center. I've been practicing for over five years, and I do hundreds of hip and knee replacements. Hundreds of these things. So when it comes to running marathons or races in general, I mean, what tips do you have for people who are thinking about joining? Uh, the, the biggest tip is getting proper shoes. It's got to start from the ground up. I would say go to a specialty running store, have them look at you, have them evaluate you. You want to have shoes that can take care of pronation, supination, a flat foot, a high arch, and then uh, uh, from the shoes, start, start your training regimen, however that might be, and that depends on your training level. So as soon as you start training, get those good shoes in, right? Absolutely. From the very beginning, you don't want to wait till the race to get those shoes. You want to train with good shoes. Now, from what I understand, you brought this model on, and uh, what can you kind of tell us about what happens to our knees when we run? Well, first of all, uh, some, some runners are never going to have arthritis, and that depends on genetics, body weight, and kind of the cumulative trauma. But for the rest of us that are, might be a little bit heavier and, and, and our genetics are not with us, running can lead to cartilage loss. And the end result, once you get bone-on-bone -bone arthritis, uh, could be a knee replacement. That's a conversation you have with your surgeon. Here, this is a model that shows what we do in a knee replacement. We replace the end of the bone with a uh, uh, component. And same thing on this bone here, the tibia. We resurface the top of the tibia, put a tibia component, and then we replace the cartilage you've lost over the years with a space age insert right here. And that's what's gonna mimic your cartilage going forward. And that sounds pretty major, but you know, obviously there are ways to prevent from getting to this point, right? Absolutely. The, the ways to prevent from getting this point is, well, you can't choose your parents. Uh, keeping your weight down. So uh, the heavier you are, the more load you put on your cartilage. And then being cognizant of the pain that you experience in the knee. If, you're start, if your knee is hurting, swelling, back off. Switch to cross training uh, using a recumbent bicycle, swimming, so you can continue to work on your cardiovascular health and give your knees a break. All right. Well, thank you so much for those tips. And uh, are you going to be running this year? Uh, I'm actually not available that weekend. I'm going out of town. Otherwise, I probably would run it. It's pretty fun, though, right? It's very fun. <laughs> OK. Well, thank you so much for joining us this morning. That's all the time we have for now. We'll be right back after this break.